Okay, here's uh, just a quick review on how to set up your armature and add bones to your mesh. So here we have a very simple kind of figure with legs. So we're going to um, just review all the steps you need to know. We're going to start with the front camera, so just press 1. And we will go ahead and add in an armature. So go to the Add menu and click on Armature. And that will give you a bone. You don't see it there. So we're going to go to your object settings over on the right panel. And we'll click on in front. And that will make sure that you can see your bones uh, wherever you put them. Um, and this is going to be the main kind of just middle bone. So I will uh, scale that just to fit. Um, you do want to make sure you check from both angles in the side and the front and in the bone menu I'll just call this middle um, now from edit mode on your armature we're gonna add in the other bones um, now in this case we're gonna just do the right leg and um, We'll start by going to the Add menu and clicking on Single Bone. Remember, this is not connected to that middle, so we want this to actually be separate. So I'm just going to rotate this into place and move it. You do want to make sure you put these um, kind of joints right where you have your loop cuts and right where those that mesh is going to flex. Again, check from the side that the bones are matching the mesh. Um, down here, I'm going to extrude from the sharp end, and that will be the lower leg or the shin. Again, check from the front to make sure it is lined up. And now we can name these bones. So this is going to be, um, we'll call this leg dot R for right leg and we'll call this shin dot R for the right shin and again that uh, dot R is uh, important just so that when we flip this it knows where to put uh, the names so now that we have these two bones here again check from all angles I'm gonna select both and now I can kind of flip this and copy it over. So here's how you do that. Again, select both of those bones. We're still in edit mode, by the way. Uh, and I'm going to go to armature and I'm going to go to duplicate. You can also press shift D. And when you move your mouse around, that's going to kind of move your bones, your new copy. Uh, I'm going to right click just to send that back to where it started. And then when I do that, I'll get this duplicate window. I want to click on flip names. And now you'll see that the shin.l is the current bone selected. I'm going to flip this and move it over. So now go to armature, mirror, x global, and I'll move that over. Try to match it best as you can. Again, check your um, both sides. So shin.l and also leg.l and then leg.r and shin.r here. Now what we need to do is we need to parent these two uh, upper legs to the middle bone. So I'm going to select both. And then lastly, I'll select that middle bone. I'll go to armature and then I'll go to parent and make and then keep offset and you'll see that's right when you see those dotted lines now when I move the top these bones should move with it and now we're gonna go to object mode and we want to now parent the uh, mesh to the bones so I'm gonna start with the mesh select that select the bones second and then you're gonna go to object parents armature with automatic weights and that should do it now we can test in pose mode see if 
if it works. Looks like it works. Notice uh, the cube on top is deforming. So now that's what we're going to fix in the weight painting. Um, so first I'm going to go back to object mode. And now I want to select the bones first and then the mesh. And that will open up the weight paint option. And then we can kind of see how this works. To select a bone, hold control, click it. And now we'll work with this left side here. Um, and again, when you rotate with R, you'll see kind of that mesh is being deformed. So we want to go in. I'll start with the top. And I'm going to just make sure that this top um, of the mesh, the blue part, the blue cube on top is mostly blue. Uh, let me shrink this down a bit. And over here as well, we want to get rid of anything that affects the cube too much. Uh, notice how much I'm zooming in. Uh, again, you can check it just to see. So there's some movement here. Like that. And some movement here. Like that. And now we're pretty good. Some on the bottom, but nothing too bad. And that's how you fix and weight paint. Now you might encounter some other issues on a more complex mesh, but uh, again, we'll have to, to kind of tackle that on a case by case basis. But that is pretty much how you um, weight paint and everything else should be good in this case. I'm gonna go out to object mode. And now I can be in pose mode um, when I select the bones. And everything should work pretty accurately. Um, and that is the basics of weight painting and setting up your armatures.